how to change the engine oil on your 2017 Ford Fusion. This will also work with the 2013 and newer Fusions. On the older Fusions, it might be a little bit different steps. So what you need so far is a 10 millimeter and a dual panel tool remover or a flat blade screwdriver. I prefer a flat blade. So what you first want to go and do, jack up the car on it and underneath of it you'll have a little plastic shield here you'll have about I believe it was 12 13 10 millimeter bolts this runs along the sides and right about here then you got two little clips on the both ends that you want to pop out they do not come off all there is, is just a little tab you just want to pull it up and this part will just pop right out of the car off the frame of the car All right, take off the drain bolt. It is a 13 millimeter. So let's go ahead and slide under here. Sorry for all the movements. But as you're looking, there's the drain bolt for the oil. So if you're looking underneath the car, the oil pan's right there and that's where the drain bolt be. Don't get confused. That's your transmission. It's also got a drain bolt, but don't get that mixed up. I've seen that happen. I've seen people take out the wrong bolt, end up draining the transmission fluid instead of the oil. So like I said, the oil pan's right there on the right side of the car. And there's the bolt right there. So that's a 13 millimeter. So what you need is an oil catch pan, which I have one. I'll go ahead and bring it out. Then you can go and loosen up that bolt and let all the oil drain out. Well, before you do that, if you want, you don't have to, but I've always done it. I've always taken the cap off and I've always just lift up the dipstick. Therefore, when you do drain the oil, it will allow air to go inside the engine to push it all out so the oil drains out nice and smoothly. Now here's the fun part, is trying to get to the filter. Right there, right where the tip of my finger is at. What was that? Right there. Is the oil filter. But you don't really got much room on top or on the bottom. Oh, uh, let's play say, now let's play, just got this oil change at. Was at the four dealerships. Right there is the oil filter. So that's going to be fun trying to get it out. I've already got mine broken loose. I could not get it off my hand because obviously the dealership gets it on there crazy tight. But I have one of this tool here. I was able to shimmy it down between here and get it to fit on there and break it loose. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, go from the top, go ahead and unscrew it all the way and just let all the oil Jip into the oil pan. Then I'll try to fish it out through the bottom. All right, so here's the oil filter. When you take it off, make sure it still has its gasket on the, the O-ring on it, that black thing you see. As if, it, if you take it off and it don't have it, you'll need to check where that oil filter is at and take that gasket off of there. Because you cannot have two gasket on it or it'll start spewing out oil when you start up the car with new oil in it. And what I like to do on the new filter is get some oil and put it on that black o-ring on there. So you want to do that. Therefore, the next time you take this off, it will be easier to take it off. All right, I got the oil filter in place. You probably cannot see it since it is gray and it blends in. But what you want to do when you put it on there, after you get the oil on it, on the O-ring, you want to put it on there by hand, and it should spin freely while it, when you tighten it up. If it doesn't spin freely, you are cross-threading it, so you want to back it out and try it again. So it should spin freely when you are putting on the oil filter. And I got mine on there as tight as I can by hand. You do not want to take a tool and crank it down. You just need it to get tight enough by hand. Now we'll go ahead and drain the oil 
Right, I've always liked to take the oil filter off first before I drain the oil. Because I know those oil filter can be a bear. Just for proof that I changed the oil filter on it. So now go ahead and take out the drain plug. All right, so I already drained up the oil, uh, the oil pan. I already got the bolt back on. I got it on there by as tight as I can with the ratchet. You do not want to take an impact tool to it, but just get it on there as tight as you can, just with hand and a ratchet. Now you're time to fill up the oil. Before you do that too, also if you want, double check your work. Make sure the drain plug's on there tight. Make sure the oil filter's on there tight. Then you can go ahead and fill up the oil. Now this one here, that's obviously a 1.5 liter. I'm here, this is my first time changing this oil since I got the vehicle. Obviously the dealership's done it since I had a free oil change at the dealership. But online people saying it takes 1.5 liter, so it takes a 4.3 quarts of oil. Uh, you can check the owner's manual, it should be in there for the specification for the engine size and how much quart of oil it takes. Alright, I decided to go ahead and get out my owner's manual just to make sure. 1.5 liter. Engine oil with oil filter. 4.3 quarts. And if you turn to the next page, it will have what type of oil and what not if you want to add to it. Yada, yada, yada. I don't care about that. Then if you keep flipping to the page, 2.0 liters. Engine oil with filter, 5.7 quarts. Turn to the next page, that will just give the same thing. What grease and oil to use. This one here is for, I think, the, what, the Ford Fusion Sport, the 2.5 liter. That takes 5.7 quarts also. For the 2.7, 6 quarts. Same oil stuff. I believe that is all that shows. I thought the 17 Fusion had a 3.0. I might be wrong. But anyways, mine's a 1.5. So that's what I need to look at. And that said, at 4.3 quarts of oil. Yep, 1.5. 4.3 quarts. So that's what I'll need to add. Here is the oil that I'm going to be putting in. Full synthetic, 520, that's what it calls for. All vehicles on your oil cap. Check to see what it shows. This one recommends 520, so put 520 in it. Don't put 1030 in it. Don't put 530 in it. Do what it calls for. And here it is. This is apparently a new thing that Valvoline came out with. For engine newer, 2012. So we'll find out how well this works out if I have any problems. Hopefully not. Also, that's a 5 quart one. So I'm going to put in 4.3 quarts into it. Alright, so I already added oil into it till the dipstick was on the full line. Now just because it shows it's full, it don't mean it is actually full because the oil filter is still dry. So when you start up the engine, it's going to push oil into the oil filter and the oil level will drop down so like I said just because it shows it's full it's not so go ahead I'm gonna drop the car down move this bar down if no nope, maybe not okay anyways and you don't want the car to run for a long time Just enough to get the oil to the oil filter. You also want to check the leaks. Look underneath. Make sure there's no leaks. In my case, the floor is dry. I'll go ahead and shut it off and check the oil level. If the oil level is low, fill up as needed. 
If it's up to the full mark, you should be good. After you do your oil turns, about maybe a couple days after, check the oil level, make sure the oil level didn't drop. Alright, so I've already checked the oil again for the third time on there. Now my car, since I spilled some on there, on the frame of it, I don't know if the exhaust is near it, but it might smoke for a little bit. That's normal. It's just burning off the oil underneath here. I do have a little wet spot, but that is because it is dripping off of the hoses, which is normal. So you can wipe that off and you'll be good to go. But just Now since you do the oil change, just check every day or so just to make sure you ain't losing oil. So that's going to end this video here. That's just how you change the oil on it. Also, since this is a Ford Fusion, it does have a oil reminder on there. So I will have a video on how to reset that. Well, thanks for watching.